Hello, this is Days again, and this will be my J Downloader tutorial. I'm going to show you how J Downloader works and what it is and everything else about the program. Um, <clears throat> for starters, J Downloader is like download manager for all the host sites like Mega Upload and Rapid Share. You can see here in the premiums part, you can see all the different sites. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot more of them than you would probably think. Um, First off, um, it just manages your downloads. Like, for instance, I'll go to my Mega Upload page and show you what I'm talking about. These are files I have uploaded to my Mega Upload account. Right here is the link to downloading the Mega Up the J Downloader. Now you don't even have to cut and paste or move the, f the link around to get it into J Downloader. Just highlight it and copy. And then it'll automatically be recognized by J Downloader in the link wrapper. And then it'll check it and make sure the file's online for you. And then from there, just click continue with all, and then it'll begin downloading the file. See, it'll show up, and it'll check your account if you have one, and it'll type in the captcha for you, and then it will start downloading the file. As you can see, it connects, types the captcha on its own. And everything. Now, the best part of the J Downloader is that it'll do this for as many links as you feel like loading in. Like you can actually load in 50, 60 links, and it'll then you'll just continue with them, and it'll start. Also, there's something called DLC files, which is a single file that you load up and then it'll set up a batch where you can get numerous files. Like right here I'll take this link and we will, if I can get it to highlight I'll just open it and copy that one and that should pop up Yep, and there it is. Now these files aren't the file, but they're the addresses for a set of files that become in a package. Like usually people that have like large, large programs, they'll split them up into numerous um, parts so you can download them. Let me just remove this from my list. And once that finishes downloading, it'll load all the links th for that one file. For instance, this file will have seven parts. <clears throat> when it's done downloading, it'll bring the seven links over here into the link grabber, check them all, make sure they're online, and then you just click continue with all. And then it'll set them up. Now, <clears throat> J Downloader is great for managing and downloading numerous files at a time. And again, like you can just keep adding and adding to the list. You don't have to um, download anything separately. And with it, you can download new. It'll download each file one after another. Like right here, go to continue. And it'll set up the files for download. And it'll start downloading them one after another. Now one thing J Downloader also does is extracted packages like this it'll extract them for you. If you double click on the package you can see right here to click extract or not to extract and you can put in the password if there's a password required and it'll extract them on its own for you after they're finished downloading. Sometimes there's bugs and it'll say the file's already finished or something like that. But if that ever happens, you just right click and go down to reset. Now when you reset the file, it'll delete the file and start the download over again, including all files in the package. <clears throat> if you have like a Mega Upload account like I do, you can add it to this. Like you go down to Mega Upload and go to accounts and then you can add your account. It'll just ask you for the password and the account username and then it'll use that as your download. So like if you have like a premium mega upload account 
you have no limit to your bandwidth and you have no limit to how many files you can upload and download at a time it'll use that account and it will take off the time and will use all the bandwidth and everything and this is a great way to manage your files and it works for almost as far as I could tell every single type of file sharing sharing matrix mega upload rapid share hot file all of that and you just like I showed you before just highlight the link copy it you don't even have to paste it you just copy it and it'll pick it up in the link grabber and just do continue and it'll start running and well that's it um, I will put the link to download in the description and I will also put a link to other files the thank me files which um if you download them it'll just be helping me out you can just download them and delete them and every time you download them once a day it'll continue to help me and it'll help me keep supporting my programs and supporting my tutorials and my bandwidth and everything else so thank you for watching the video and have fun using jdownloader and downloading stuff thank you again